and good morning all uh, for fifth semester a section i'm here by going to introduce the uh, introduction for dbms lab with mini project with the code 18 csl 58 so the lab contains two parts part a where you will be doing with the skill programming uh, which will carry maximum of uh, 20 marks so then uh, part b mini project so maximum marks 30 so in part a you will be uh, doing with five database exercises you will be creating the table you will be inserting the data and you will apply the queries on the data uh, whatever the tables you have created in the part B, using the knowledge of part A, you will be able to develop mini project using uh, front-end tools, uh, HTML, PHP, and the back-end you are going to use XAMPP. So uh, we can decide on a database and we, on which database you are going to do the project and all. So let me uh, get along with the, uh, let me introduce for part A. So all of us, we know that uh, data is any useful information which is stored in computer's memory. Uh, and database uh, is an electronic system that allows data to be stored in a uh, well-structured manner that can be easily accessed and manipulated. So DBMS is the one, is the software which will enable us to create access and update the database uh, 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 operations. So this is what the introduction to data database and DBM is. Uh, for this, without taking much time into the theory introduction, as you will be uh, studying all the theoretical aspects in DBMS theory, let me get into SQL. We are going to use uh, SQL, which stands for Structured Query Language. So as the name itself indicates, you are going to query something. So what do you want to query? You are going to query the database. Okay, so SQL, Structured Query Language, is used to access and manipulate the database. So what are all the things SQL can do? SQL can create the new tables in the database. It can create stored procedures. It can create views. At the same time, you can insert the records into the database. You can update the records. You can delete the records. Then you can execute the queries against a database. And you can retrieve the data from a database. So this is all can be achieved using SQL. So again, uh, with SQL, uh, before getting into the queries, we have to create the database. So DBMS mainly helps us to uh, create and manipulate the database. So SQL, we have two parts. One is DML statement and DDL statements. So DDL stands for data definition language. DML stands for data manipulation language. So data definition language means it allows to change the schema of the database, whereas data manipulation language will allow us to uh, manipulate or update the database, ma manipulate in all the ways. So it provides queries to manipulate the database. So the DML queries, mainly we are going to study select, which will extract the data from a database, update, which will update the data in a database, delete will delete the data from database, insert will insert new records or data into the database. So this is what manipulation means. So whenever you are dealing with data, we say it is manipulation language. 
so when we are doing with uh, schema of the database we say that is data definition language so ddl uh, will tell you so which are the what is the table name which are the attributes what are the constraints on the attributes is there any connection between the different tables what is the primary key what is foreign key so everything will be defined in ddl part of sql so under a ddl part of sql we will come across three main queries create table which creates the new table alter table so which is used to modify a table modify a table in the sense we are going to modify at the schema level we are not going to say about data so when we say about modification of data or altering the data that comes under data manipulation language so when we are changing the uh, schema of the table we say that is alter table uh, command and drop table the whole of the table will be deleted by using drop table command so at the same time uh, unlike other programming languages data type uh, in sql uh, we have special categories so to begin with uh, it will support integer type of uh, data so you can declare the data type as int or number uh, whenever you want to do with the integer kind of data next uh, we will do in order to do with the character type of uh, data we will use the data type as varchar the latest version is 2 so varchar 2 of x it will do so where x is the number of characters so boolean will do with boolean kind of values like true or false so date will store year month and uh, day values Time, if you use the data type, it will store our minute and second values. So these are the main type of uh, data types we are going to use in database. Um, so database means uh, here, uh, database table, uh, one or two tables uh, will not make a database. A database may contain any number of tables any number of one or more tables so each table will be identified by its name so table contains the records related to the uh, data so related data will be contained in each of the appropriate tables as you can see here uh, basically uh, fifth semester students will do with the relational data model that is the, the data is represented in the form of relations. So relations is nothing but each of the relation is identified by the relation name or we call it as table name. Here we are going to indicate it as R and each of the table relation contains attributes A1 to AN uh, or we can say columns also. And and uh, once the relation name and the attributes are ready, so we are going to enter the data into the tables and e data is uh, stored in the form of a record, what we call it as a tuple. So each row in the relation, we are going to call it as tuple. So here is one example. The name of the relation is student. The attributes are a1 to an which are role number name department and tuples are 101 steam computer science 265 johnson finance so these are all the uh, uh, tuples of the relation student this is how we are going to create the different relations of the database or different tables of the database uh, without uh, taking much time so we will uh, start using the XAMPP server. XAMPP server introduction already uh, given in another uh, recording. So let me begin with the uh, XAMPP server and let me give the commands for to create the database. To create the database,
To create the database, we will use the command. We will use the command create database followed by database name. So let me create create database. Database name is calling. Let me create. Let me create CAT college database. CAT college. Then with semicolon. Okay, it will create a database. So I showed in the PPT also. To create database, create database followed by database name. So here I created the database, create database CAT on it. To drop the database, we will use the command drop followed by database name. So let me come to it later. Uh, whatever the database we have created, we will use it. So the, for that, the command is use followed by database name. So let me use. So I've created the database by name CAT College. So let me use the so database change to So now uh, uh, using this database, in this uh, database, uh, CAT College, let me create table which follows the syntax like create table followed by table name within the parentheses column name followed by data type comma column name data type. So like that it will end with or uh, close parenthesis followed by semicolon. So let me create one uh, database, uh, one table in the CAT college. So let me create a table student. Create table student. Within the parenthesis, let me create USN, which is of type int. Let me have another field student name. Let me give the data type as varchar of. Let me give uh, sem. Then let me give integer. Suction. That cut off. Let me give. So this is what the creation of the table. So it followed the syntax: create table, table name followed by the uh, column names. So here, create table student. The fields are USN of type integer. Student name that is S name of type varchar of 30, SEM, which is of type integer, 
suction which is of type vac cat the table created so to see the structure of the database so this is what schema schema of the table is so which are all the fields what is the name of the table any constraints are there uh, what is the data type of each uh, field in the table we can see by using a command describe followed by table name so i have created one table student so let me give describe student it will give you so the fields different fields of the student table are usn yes name sem suction and the data types are int varchar int and varchar so there are no other constraints set as of now so if you want to know which are all the tables present we can have a look by uh, by having the command show tables so i have only one table so it is showing student that is what uh, it is shown in ppt also list the tables of a database so i have created a new database by name cit college the tables existing are only one uh, table i have created student so that is shown so once the database is ready the table is ready we have to insert data into the table we have to create tuples for the particular table by using the syntax insert into table name values value 1 value 2 like that so let me insert the values for insert in student values so if it is uh, integer data type no need to um, include within the course otherwise we have to include within the course so usn let me say 100 have included it as integer so name let me say okay sem let me say fifth semester suction let me say a sorry Showed one row effect. So let me insert another value. Two hundred. Let me pick Mahesh. Fifth minister. A section. So in the same way, let me introduce fifth one for B section. let me give wrong so it introduce it a three rows of data into the table to see that data so whatever the records we have inserted so far so is it inserted into the is it stored in the table how to check we will use a command select 
star indicates uh, all the columns from the particular table name so we can execute in variety of ways so if i keep select star from student it will keep all the fields name field names along with all the rows of the data i can do i can select only some of the columns so if i give usn comma yes name yes name from table name also i can give so it will select only the two fields usn and yes name from student table so this is what to show all the data in the table we can use select statement next uh, we can alter we can add one more uh, column or we can delete one one existing columns so we can modify the data type of the existing table that all can be done by using the alter table command so which is under ddl statement so data definition language which modifies the schema of the table which will not do anything with the data so it with you can do addition with addition or deletion with respect to the schema okay so let me use the same syntax alter table let me add one more uh, column so alter table student uh, add column is the keyword i'm going to use add column so which one so i want to add um, some subject let me introduce grade grade that care of five so it will uh, let me check what has happened here so describe student So it has added one more uh, column grade by alter table command. So in the same way, you can drop a column in the existing table by using drop column name. So alter table, alter student, we can use drop column name to so drop. Uh, let me drop grade only, which I have added now. So I don't have to specify the data type. So alter table, sorry. Alter table student drop grade. So it will drop. If I do once again describe student, I can check only four fields are there, four columns are there USN, S name, SEM, and suction. It is dropped. So, in the same way, uh, we can modify the data by using the command alter table, table name, modify column name so modify the data type of the column so i can change alter table student modify column name is uh, usn let me convert it into Yeah. 
so you can see this clip so, so usn from integer it converted to that along with uh, the creation of the tables basically we can add different constraints to the table uh, there are uh, mainly we will be talking about uh, primary key constraint and foreign key constraints here which are used for accessing the data from the different tables so we can create like immediately after the column name declaration we can declare it as primary key or at the end by declaring the constraint we can declare the primary key which will be the uniqueness constraints for all the rows of the table so which can uniquely identify all the tuples of a table can be done by using by declaring primary key how to declare so let me create uh, another table create table employee employee id of that card that card of let me use integer eid Teacher, so let me declare here only primary and e name that cut off of thirty. So it takes a uh, Primary key constant. Now you can check while inserting how it is unique. And so primary key doesn't accept uh, repeated values and it, it doesn't accept null values. So insert into employee values. So employee ID is 100. So name is wrong okay it will accept so if i give select star from employee it will take so now if i try to insert the same value with a different name it will not take let me say raj so it will give you duplicate entry not possible for primary key so it will not take the repeated values so i should go i should print the so it will identify all the tuples of the relation uniquely from employee so let me uh, drop employee table. So to drop that, I can give drop followed by the table name. Drop table employee. So okay, it will delete, it will drop the employees. And once again, it is a DDL statement. So I can create the primary key constraint in another way at the end. Um, so here, uh, I'll show you when I come to uh, foreign key. So foreign key means uh, whenever the values of one table will be referring to the values of the other table, we say it is a referential integrity or foreign key constraint. So we should say uh, which uh, field of the particular table is referring to which field of the another table where you can club the data from multiple tables using primary key and foreign key 
So in order to uh, declare a foreign key, we will use the keyword foreign key followed by column name and we will use the, the keyword references followed by table name and within the table name which is the column because uh, in one table there can be any number of foreign keys but there can be only one primary key so uh, here uh, we have created one table uh, creatable student name usn empid so here we have done empid in student as foreign key which is referring to the table emp1 of emp id we are following the same syntax here so let me uh, create employee table again the primary key concept uh, foreign key concept create table employee let me have the id in Twitter. the name radcar of 30 suppose if i am a mentor i want to know which employee is mentor for which student so let me use uh, USN. USN. So I have to give RATCAR only. Whatever the data type is there. create salary and uh, here I can declare primary key at the end by using the keyword constraint so constraint what is the constraint name so k1 so Primary key of the ID. Primary key of the ID. So it will take primary key as employee ID. In the same way, I can create another table. So create table. Let me create student one. So here also let me click uh, USN in Twitter. Uh, yes, name. Backyard of the let me click the constraints here. So, constraint um, primary key of USN. Let me take uh, for foreign key F1. Let me use the keyword foreign key which is the foreign key i want to make here is second
So in the same way, we can create the foreign key. foreign key by using the constant foreign key of column name references table name of column name we can give. So primary key will not accept null values and will not accept redundant values. But whereas foreign key will accept uh, redundant values and as well as it will accept null values also. The only condition for foreign key is it has to refer to the primary key uh, of the other table, uh, reference table, and the data type of uh, the foreign key and primary key refer should be same. So this is what uh, the points to remember with respect to primary key and foreign key. So uh, this is what the introduction to DBMS lab, uh, which is. Uh, uh, starting from SQL uh, creation of tables until the creation of foreign keys to insert the data, to manipulate this data, to query the database. We have done with some basic commands. Uh, let's take up the first exercise in the next session. Thank you.